Now, have you seen the turn of the month dynamics for August? From a seasonal perspective, stocks tend to do well over the turn of the month from around the 26th to the 5th. Uh, most likely that's due to fund inflows and index payments that tend to occur around the end of the month. Now with Season X's event feature, you can see the turn of the month dynamics for different months. So take a look here at the DAX. You can see this is the first day of August. We can see just in the few days before August and the few days after August, you can see that the price is relatively well balanced and on average, it's a slight fall minus 0.36 return. But when you get into, you know, just the last couple of days, or the last day of the month and the, the final day, again, a similar drop, which is quite interesting when you compare that to, say, take the first day of April, for instance. And you can see, OK, there's really quite a different picture in the days, you know, the few days just before the end of the month to the few days after the turn of the month, see, actually, there's quite a decent return around that period in April. Uh, similarly, if you just take another look at that around, uh, let's take a different month, for instance, let's take November. See, again, very solid uh, return. And you see that really does stand out that um, August is really quite a, a, a different time. So that turn of the month feature, very helpful to use on Season X. What's the major outlook to this risk? The major risk is to do with the market reaction to the Federal Reserve Policy Meeting and the US Core PCE print data that's out on Friday, both of which can move stocks. Remember, don't just trade it. Season X it.